Welcome to Electron Online, and now we're going to take a look at the inverse tangent function. So here we have y equals the tangent of x, and the inverse function is x equals the inverse tangent of y. Again, x is the angle, y is the value of the function when you plug in the angle. And here we do things in reverse. This is the value of the function, find the angle. So let's graph. Here we have the graph of the uh, tangent of x again. So here you can see that when the angle is pi over 2, since it's a sine over the cosine, the sine of pi over 2 is 1, but the cosine of pi over 2 is 0. 1 divided by 0 gives you infinity. So as you approach pi over 2, the tangent of that angle goes to infinity. For the angle being equal to 0, the sine divided by the cosine, the sine of 0 is 0. The cosine of 0 is 1, so 0 divided by 1 is 0. So the tangent of 0 is 0. And finally, the tangent of minus pi over 2, the angle of minus pi over 2, you know that at that point the cosine is 0. The sine is uh, minus 1, so minus 1 divided by 0, that goes to the negative infinity value. So therefore you get negative infinity, infinity, and that's what the function looks like. So when we do things in reverse, if I give you the value of the function, infinity, and I say, what is the angle? And you realize, ah, when, pi, when, when the angle x is equal to pi over 2, you get a value of infinity. So the answer is x is equal to pi over 2. But then you realize, well, that happens again at 3 pi over 2 and 5 pi over 2 and 7 pi over 2. There's an infinite number of values, but you can take the closest value right there. Likewise, if I say, if the end answer is 0, for what angle is the tangent 0? You go, oh, that happens when the angle is 0. And so you say, okay, when x equals 0. And finally, if I say, for what value of the angle do you get negative infinity when you take the tangent of that? Uh, so when you say the tangent of what angle gives me negative infinity, you say, ah, that will happen at, uh, let's see here, x equals minus pi over 2. And so you do the function in reverse. You do the process in reverse. You were given the result, and you're looking for the angle. How do you graph that? Well, you know that the function is going to go from pi, the result of the function is going to go from pi over 2 to negative pi over 2. So pi over 2 is over here. And negative pi over 2 is down here. So when x goes to pi over 2, y goes to infinity. So that means it should look like this. That means you have an asymptote here at pi over 2. And then when you go to minus pi over 2, you realize that the value for y goes to negative infinity. So the function continues over here. And you have an asymptote at this location. And so that's what the inverse tangent looks like. And so that's this function right there. That's how you do that. That's how you look at your inverse sine, cosine, and tangent functions.